In this class, we are going to learn how to create our functions app in Azure portal. Once you have logged into your Microsoft Azure portal, you will land into this home screen. From the home screen, you can click on function app. Other method is you can search for the function over here in the search bar. And one more method is you can select this portal menu and click on the create resource. It will open the resources for you and you can select the function app. Or else, under the favorites, Microsoft has put this functions app in the favorites you can just click on this or just click on this create button over here in order to straight away get into the functions app creation now we will make use of this home screen function app option over here click on this function app once you click on the functions app it will list all the functions which are available under your resource group as well as the subscription currently we do not have any of the functions app created within our subscription or the resource group so in order to create a function app for the first time, we have to click this create function app or else we can just click on this create button at the left top corner. Click on this. First option it will ask is to select the subscription. You have to select your appropriate subscription. If you have more than one, just select this drop down and select the respective subscription under which you want to build for this functions app. Next we have to select the resource group. It is always a good practice in order to create a new resource group whenever you are creating a function app because you might create n number of functions suppose if you are building your functions for order management purpose you might have n number of functions created which gets triggered whenever an order has been created or order has been shipped or order has been delivered so all those things you can group under a similar function app under the particular resource group coming to the functions app name here we have to provide the globally unique name which will be unique under the azure let me give bl testing 102 let's see whether it's available or not yeah, it's available you can see the tick mark it's over here so this should be unique because it will create a url for you with the help of which you will be able to access your functions this we will look at the later point of time how to access our function with the url next it is asking do you want to deploy the code or a container image we can create a docker image of our functions code and we can deploy but we will make use of this code because we are going to make use of the azure portal as a IDE or the editor in order to modify our code and deploy next it is asking for the runtime stack so these are the currently supported programming languages for the functions. So I will select Node.js. So you can select as per your business requirement or as per the use case. So version, you can select the versions whichever are currently supported by Azure. So I will select the default that is the latest one. Next comes the region. So I have selected East US which is the default. But it is always a good practice in order to select the region wherever your customer resides. In order to avoid the latency and also you can abide with the country's law and regulation. Coming to the operating system, suppose if you are creating a function which makes use of exclusively some of the resources of the Linux operating system, then you can go for Linux or else you can just leave this as Windows by default. Because Azure Functions app works natively well on Windows rather than on Linux. It's your choice, the operating system, whatever you like, you can select as per the business requirement. Next, coming to the hosting options. So we are going for the consumption that is the actual serverless offering of the function. So serverless is the actual concept because of which function got popular in the Azure. Also there is an option to select the premium version of function. If we go with the premium option then suppose if you are having two or four functions created within this function app then at least one instance of all the function will always be running in the Azure. Because of which you will be charged little more because in the consumption model you will pay until when your functions are triggered and it is running. But in the case of the premium, one instance of your function is always running. So because of which you will incur more cost. The premium hosting option for functions is used in order to avoid the cold start of the function. Suppose if your function is not used for a particular predefined tab, then your functions instance will be removed from the memory. So whenever a new request comes, function has to be loaded into the memory and it will delay your functions invocation time. It will avoid the cold start as at least one instance of every function is available in the memory. It will be like a warm start immediately whenever there is a trigger your functions will be initiated. Next comes the app service plan which means you can have a dedicated virtual machines running your functions. So this will incur further more charges compared to premium version. Here you can scale up scale down the virtual machines. Next click on the storage. Azure will create a unique storage account. So based on the code whatever you are using it will create a blob storage queue or the table in order to store the file for your function. So you can create a new one if you are not happy with the Microsoft default naming convention. Now clicking on the networking. So this I am not modifying. So we want our function to be enabled from the public access as well. If you want it to enable for network injection you can select. So by default it will be off. Click on next and monitoring. 
so here you can enable the application inside so application inside is one more monitoring offerings by azure so with the help of application inside you can have the runtime as well as the historical data of your functions execution so i'm selecting no but you can select s if you want the application inside click on next here it will ask you to configure the github repository so if you want to have the ci cd enabled for your functions app then you can select it enable and you can populate the details for your github account so i'm not selecting this but if you want you can just select or enable this option next coming to the tag here you can populate the tag in order to get the billing details for this function or to manage this resource now once you are happy with all the configuration click on this review and create here you can view all the details whatever you have populated in the tabs while creating the function once you are happy click on this create button so it will take some couple of seconds in order to deploy your functions app our functions app has been deployed or created successfully once successfully created you will get a pop-up on the right top corner you can click on the go to resources and see the functions app which you have created from the overview section for this functions app you can stop this functions app you can just restart you can get the details of all the things you can see the execution counts currently we do not have any functions created within this function app going ahead in our classes we will create one function and we will test our function at that time it will show the details like the memory usage execution count and for how many seconds it has run so based on which building will happen in this so we have completed this section that is creating a function app from this documentation so next part is creating the http trigger function which we will see in our next class